this is a result of getting hooked to a manga series on Netflix. And hear these made up random heroic melodies in your head. Still, the good thing about mangas is that they always tell a story within a story. And so does this pedal. Hidden within its overdrive nature is an unexpected identity. And if you stick around, we'll find out what it is. Welcome back to the Wetterbase. The Jart Müller by Moody Sounds is originally a DIY kit. You can, however, purchase this Made in Sweden pedal directly on Moody Sounds website. About the pedal, volume, drive and mix knobs are self-explanatory. The clang knob is not a regular tone knob, but rather emphasizes lows and cuts highs when turning it down and does the opposite when turning it up. The drive knob ranges from a smooth, almost polite saturation to a wild, fuzzy distortion. Here's an example with the drive set low. <laughs> Just a bit of dirt in the background to make a vintage slap tone a bit more intriguing. Let's test it with the tone and volume knobs of the bass guitar turned almost all the way down and the drive knob turned up. There's hum noise, obviously, but the sound is one of the juiciest I ever got out of a saturation pedal. Let's slightly turn down the drive knob and turn up again the volume and tone knobs on the bass guitar. You'll hear the saturation turns more into a raspy fuzz rather than a smooth distortion. So more character, but perhaps not the most appropriate modern sound you'd expect for the next song. You tell me. However, for the next Let's Doom, shall we, song, I think the drive at max adds the right amount of nastiness and bad manners we all love to love. <laughs> So yeah, unexpectedly, this pedal at high gain turns into a raspy fuzz. So there you go, the story within the story. Which is pretty nice, considering that you can get two sounds in one pedal. And both, as you heard, sound absolutely great on bass. Whether you just want to add a touch of dirt or go elegantly berserk, this 
pedal has you covered. Oh, and by the way, I really like the simple aesthetics, the size, and the practical aspects of this pedal with its engraved letters and top-mounted jacks. So definitely the Jacques Müller should be on your wish list of overdrives with personality. And if you're good at soldering, you can even save cash and do it yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Like if you want to. Subscribe if the feeling takes you. Bye.